Hello my fellow spuds and welcome to a brand new series where I'm going to be playing Card Survival Tropical Island. As per the game description it is a card based survival experience from the creators of Card Quest. Experience what life would be like if you were stranded on a desert island, all in card format. Explore craft tools and manage your needs in order to survive this hostile environment. So as it said, card based game, very hardcore survival game akin to like Green Hell, Long Dark, blah blah blah. It's very deep in terms of gameplay, despite its simple appearances, it goes pretty deep pretty quickly. Uh, so, let's have a quick start of this. I'm gonna start a new game. We have these preset options, which range from like relaxed, controlled, overwhelmed, or desperate. We're gonna make a custom character. Uh, I've already made one prior, which is a tense one. So it's, it's a little bit hard, not too hard, not too easy. Nice starting character. We are pale skin so we're very vulnerable to sunburn we're optimist so we've got positive personality we're Im immunized so immune to serious diseases but we are a loner suffers suffer less from the effects of loneliness it's a rainy start which is good and bad because we could get cold really quickly but also it enables us to potentially get a little bit of water very early on we're gluttonous which is good and bad so we get hunger for hungry faster but it means that we can constantly eat food which uh is actually helpful in the long run for preventing malnutrition. Uh, bug resistant, and we start off in the bay. Let's give it a go. Here we go. So this is what the screen like always looks like. It's currently raining. Uh, this is the time. We've got waiting options so we can rest, meditate, nap, or sleep. All of this uses time. Currently time stands still unless you're doing an action. So this will stay at four indefinitely until we do an action. On the bottom, you can see the six card slots. This is our inventory. You can only carry up to six items at a time in your inventory, although you can unlock bags and satchels and stuff to help you carry more on yourself. Uh, this middle bar is what is currently on the floor in your local area. Uh, currently got nothing, obviously. And this is your local area and points of interest within that area. So we're in the bay. The points of interest are the sea and sand. Not really <laughs> very interesting right now. Uh, and we can unlock more of these as we explore the bay. We'll have a quick look at our journal. This has our little uh, like notes to an optional objective, so we can have exploration. One of the objectives is explore all the island. And the other objective is to master some of our skills. These are all skills that you passively increase the more you do certain actions. So more hunting or fishing will increase those skills retrospectively. Uh, we've got our character, so you can see our starting equipment. We don't have any shoes, so we're really going to want to get some shoes pretty quickly. Uh, wounds, we don't have any wounds at the moment. And our character, this is our character. Uh, these are the little icons which show kind of what's going on right now, what you need to really pay attention to. So currently we're hungry, thirsty, we're filthy. We are fine though, we're a normal weight and our temperature is okay, although that will be going down because it's raining. Uh, if we click D... It comes up with all the stats that we've currently got. So, uh, isolation, comfort, mental structure, derealization, all of these, we've got so many of them. So many different things, and this is all going on in the background. So there's a lot that we need to process, but we'll go through that naturally as the progresses. Right, so now that that's all out of the way, uh, let us explore the bay. So we found a palm tree. These are quite useful because you can cut them down for big logs. Or you can climb them if you want to get some coconuts. Currently there's four coconuts, as you can see there. Uh, we could climb, but there's not a chance we'll succeed. And we can't even train because there's, because it's heavy rain, basically. So can't really do much about that. Uh, let's keep exploring. And a small tree and a heavy stone. Oh, and that unlocked the blueprint. So this is where the blueprints come in. So when you start off, you don't start off with much. You can make a fire or a campfire. You can make sharpened stone and axes and a rustic spear. However, if you go to research, there's all this stuff you can research, and that's just in one section. You can research a lot of stuff to progress throughout the game. We're gonna be wanting to start researching Deadfall Trap because we've just unlocked it. If anything else comes up that's more imminently needed, we will uh, research that. But right now, ooh, speak of the devil, palm fronds, and that should unlock ba -da -ba -da, a leaf bed. A lot more useful currently than the trap. Let's keep going. We found a stone and some sticks. We could use a stone on the heavy stone to nap it into a sharpened stone. Very useful stuff. We could then use that on the sticks to make a hand drill. Already, that's really good for lighting fires. Pretty seashells. We've unlocked a seashell necklace. Lovely. Ooh, a crab. Useful. And a husked coconut. Coconut's the most useful thing early game for food. 
Uh, you can use a sharpened stone it to get a coconut husk, which you can then use to extract fibers from, but we're going to leave that for now. We can then use a sharpened stone on a coconut to get a perforated coconut. We could use a heavy stone, but it would crack it open and we'd waste all the water in it. So we kind of want to use a, perf a sharpened stone to get the water. It gives us a quick drink. It does increase our stall liquidicity, though. So we don't want to eat too much coconut uh, because it will give you the runs. So we've cracked it in half. We can now remove the meat. And speak of the devil, we've now unlocked the leaf bed. Uh, we're going to take that and we want to get the meat. Now we've got coconut shells and we can use them to collect the rainwater. So really, I tend to want to get at least eight of these by the end of day two, just because eight is like a good amount of water that's either like a couple of days worth or if you've got like a fever or you're very hot or something, it's about a good day. So that should be fine. Uh, we want to extract the fibers from this coconut husk and then you can combine the fibers to make cord. Now, doing that enables us to unlock some shoes, something we desperately need. So I'm going to research the coconut sandals. Uh, we've also unlocked the leaf skirt and a few other bits, but right now the shoes are desperately needed because we have no shoes. We desperately need them before we really do any further proper exploring inland. That's some lemongrass, good food. It's, this is also really useful because if we eat it, we can see we get bug repellent applied. So we can also use it later on to like apply a balm and that sort of thing. So let's just keep having a look. So what have we got here? Let's just crack open these coconuts. Tasty, tasty coconut water. Uh, our <laughs> liquidicity is going up, but it's it's not the end of the world. We should be fine for the first couple of days anyway. Let's collect the rain. And we've got halfway, halfway there. We've already got four. So that's amazing. Let's eat the coconut. But as you can see by the two nuts, we are now tired of eating coconuts. This means that we're going to start to feel a bit sick. Oh, we're already sick of eating veg as well. <laughs> so when you are a bit tired of eating coconuts or any food, it lowers your morale. And the more you eat, the higher chance you have of getting nauseous. If you end up being nauseous, you can be sick. And that means you will lose fluids as well as your fullness. So not great. We want to help build up our morale, which we can help do that by either go diving or you can build sandcastles, which fulfills the entertainment value. So if we're going to the entertainment value tab here, we can see it is gained by doing fun activities and avoiding repetitive ones, increasing morale and lowering loneliness, which is really good because loneliness is a big thing. We are a loner, so that won't be too much of an issue going forward. So we want to try and avoid doing too much of the same thing. Uh, currently, we've only got sand costs and diving, but we can make instruments and stuff later on. We don't want to dive too much because it does lower our stamina significantly, and we run the risk of kind of losing more calories than we're gaining right now. So we're going to want to keep that to a minimum. But let's keep walking around the bay. Found a palm bush. Nice. We can get palm fronds from that. Oh, and we found the jungle path and two coconuts. Nice. That means that we've got eight coconut halves in the first day. Amazing. That should give us plenty of water going forward. Uh, we can use the heavy stone just to crack them because we don't need the coconut water. We don't really want any more stall liquidicity. And let's just take the meat straight out of that. And we are done. Just have a quick drink while it's still raining just so that we don't waste any. And let's fill these up. And we're done. We've got eight. Hallelujah. Right. Now, you can see the percentage in the bottom corner. That means how full it is. So as time goes by, as you've seen, it's gone up to 66%. We just need to leave that until it's 100% and then it's full. We've still got six hours left till the coconut sandals are done. So what should we do to fulfill the time? We are really hungry, so I think we should probably harvest this lemongrass. It's probably a waste to eat it, but needs must. And we'll keep eating this. Oh, we're still sick of coconuts and veg, of course. And that's quickly popped to the jungle. Now we've eaten the lemongrass, we've got the bug resistance, so we should be okay for a bit. It is raining though, so normally during the day it will have lots of bugs. But today is a good day because it's raining to go exploring. We found some wood. Wood is amazing because we can now finally make a fire, we can make a stone axe. Incredible. We found some cava plants and some more wood. Nice. Cava is extremely useful for a variety of stuff. It raises your morale, it lowers fever, so it's just a really good all-round plant to find. The rain has now cleared, and as you can see, we have a high bug population back again, so we don't want to hang around too long. We still have some protection from insects after eating the lemongrass, so we should be alright just for a few hours. Found a weevil lily. They're really good because you can make bandages from them, from the leaves. And all of these will stay here. They won't disappear over time, 
so we can just leave them here we don't have to harvest them straight away and it's fine just having a look at the description of the cover plant here we harvest the root prepare it into a soothing brew that should help improve my mood as well as help against pain and fever so it helps against pain as well i forgot about that Right, we found some small trees. We can cut them down to get some long sticks, which is really useful. Oh, we've also found a large tree. That's really useful for getting logs from. We can also use that for some major building down the line. See, a bit more lemongrass just to get our bug repellent up a little bit. Oh, and a felled large tree. That's an easy log. Get the same thing, but a lot less work so we don't have to cut it down. So brilliant. Uh, let's just go back to the bay now because I don't think we need anything else from here and it's getting a bit late. And we can finally make all the stuff that we need. So we can now make a fire. We just combine sticks with wood. Uh, yes, I do. Bush, there we go. We could make a campfire, but we're one stone down, which is a massive shame. Uh, the only difference really between that and that is it has one less cooking slot, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, we can also have both at the same time, which isn't too much of a problem. We've put the crab on the fire. We now need to light it. Uh, we could extract some fibers from the coconut husks and use that, but we saw some dried leaves back in the jungle, so I think we should just go back and grab them and uh, explore a little bit more. <gasps> we found some bananas. Yay, that's what I wanted. And some snake grass. Boom. That's everything I needed. Uh, snake grass is really good because you can get fibers straight from that like you could the coconut husks. So, uh, ooh, it's nine, seven o'clock. Let's just go straight back. Now that brings me on to a good point. Uh, it's now 20 past seven. Day kind of ends around eight o'clock. And after that point, we normally can't craft anything. But because it's a clear day, we should be able to do stuff pretty much indefinitely for the first day. And that's normally the case is that it will be a clear day all through the night. Uh, so let's light the fire and cook up this crab. Let's eat a couple of bananas, tasty, tasty. And while we're waiting for the crab to cook up, that us extract the fibers from the snake grass. Boom, you have that ping. That means the crab is done. And you can see the screen went slightly dark when it got to eight o'clock. Uh, that, that's normally an indication that it's too late to craft anything. But because it's a clear day, we can. So I think let's just eat our fill of bananas. Oh, what do you mean we can't have more than three bananas? <laughs> and we've unlocked the coconut sandals, finally. And what we need to do for that is we need four fibers, boom, with the coconuts, and there we go, we've got it. So we'll just equip that by going into our inventory, right clicking, and it is equipped. So now we don't need to worry about going through the jungle and stepping on spiders or anything. We should now be sorted. We still need to be in a leaf bed, so let's quickly do that. Um, I would have really liked to have a shelter by this point, but we just don't have the resources to do that. We are quite sleepy. So I think we're going to eat our fill and we're going to have a nap. You don't need to have a full sleep each day. So you can see the little sleep icon in the bottom left. We only need to get that back up to full and a nap should normally fill it from halfway up. Uh, so we're just going to keep doing stuff until midnight, at which point we'll have a nap and we'll make an axe to pass the time. Oh, well, it's a bit past midnight, but that's not too much of a problem. Let's have a nap. A nap's four hours. Uh, the day starts at four o'clock. That should be fine. Ooh, a macaque is rummaging through your stuff. The little thief, should you try and scare it away? No, let's let it be. Uh, oh, it just took a hand drill. Macaques are really annoying. They will steal your stuff. They'll steal your food. They'll steal any useful equipment. But why would they want a hand drill? That's really frustrating. Oh, well, let's just make another one. We've got the resources. It's fine. And let's just eat the rest of the bananas and the coconut meat and have a little drink and get ourselves as full as possible. Now, we should use our new axe to cut down these small trees and small palms that we've got. Boom, there we go. We've got a long stick, and we finally, we've unlocked the shelter, and we've unlocked the splints. Let's just get straight into researching the shelter. So for the shelter, we need four long sticks and uh, some cord and a bunch of palm fronds. So we're going to need at least two more long sticks. So I think let's just explore the bait. There we go. Right, we found another two trees. Excellent. That's just what we needed. And let's cut those two down. So every time you do cut down trees, you do get some hand damage, as you can see when I cut this down. So we're going to have to watch out for that. If you do too much physical activity, you will hurt yourself doing that, which just gives you a pain and slows down your ability to do other stuff. So let's keep exploring the bay. Found some more trees. Nice. Some more leaf fronds. Nice. Let's go to the jungle quickly to grab some more bananas because we're running out of food. And uh, we could grab this large log. Uh, no, let's go exploring. Ooh, it's a boar. You see a boar. The boar charges you. Uh, escape. And you manage to escape. The boar disappears into the foliage. Nice. We do not want to fight a boar right now. Really? Another one? Uh, escape again. Ooh, we managed to escape. Good. And our stealth is going up doing this. That's nice. And we've got the shelter. Uh, that us research the splint now, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do right now. And I think... Uh, should we hang around? Let's see a couple more bananas. Oh, we can only eat the one banana. Fine. 
Uh, let's do one more explore. I really want to find some different food. Oh, and we've unlocked the wetland. Nice. The wetland's really good because it enables us to find freshwater puddles there. Uh, I mean, they're bacteria-ridden, but enables us to get water if we're in a pinch. And we can also get mud, which enables us to start doing some clay working. And it's a major milestone towards getting a permanent structure. We could, we found some wild yams, we could dig them up, but they're a pain in the ass because you have to peel them, then you have to boil them, and it's just all round annoying to do. So I think we're gonna have to wait till we get a proper cooking set up before we start harvesting them. Okay, I think that's, uh, should we go to the wetland? I'm a bit worried about our temperature. That's, uh, let's quickly go. We can have a, we can have a little explore. It'd be nice to at least discover one puddle while we're here. Okay, we found some more trees. Uh, found a, ooh, a sago palm. They're really useful because you can cut them down and you get flour from them, which you can then use to make flatbreads, uh, which is very, very cool. But again, I think it'd be best just to wait until we have a proper cooking structure, like a stove or something, before we get into that. And these will keep, so it's not like we have to cut them down anytime soon. But we found a long stick, so I think let's just go straight back to the bay before it gets too late and we get too hot. And now that we've unlocked the shelter, we should be able to make one of them. We also, coincidentally, have four stones, so we can make a campfire. Boom. And uh, we'll leave both of them going. So we've got three cooking slots all together. That's fine. And I think we should now build the shelter. We need two more cord. That's fine. We've got plenty of snake grass, so we could make some more. Uh, we've got some more spare long sticks as well. So we could make a rustic spear from a sharpened stone and a long stick. And that's really good because that enables us to go fishing. But first of all, we're going to wash ourselves just to cool ourselves down a little bit. And we're going to get the cords to build the shelter before it gets too late. There we go. And the second step is we need palm fronds. Oh, and it's raining. Okay, good. Right, so we can get to get some more water now. Excellent. And let's combine the bed with the shelter. Oh, we've unlocked the splint. Fine. Uh, anything else to research right now? Not really. Oh, we can unlock the skirt. Let's unlock the skirt. Sure, that, that seems fine. And we've got a bed and shelter, which is really, really, really good. Uh, we are getting sunburnt because we're out in the sun. Uh, the bay is the coolest area, or one of the cooler areas of the map. So it's not too bad, but we still run the risk of sunburn. So really want to get some like aloe vera, aloe vera gel very, very quickly. So should we do some spear fishing? Yeah, I think we should. Oh, I was going to say, I was just about to say, uh, the chance of us actually finding something is extremely slim. Uh, but we found something in the first go. So that's amazing. Uh, we're not going to find anything else. S seriously? Uh, we're such a low level. The chance... Oh, can't get three. No, of course not. Uh, the chance of us... Stop it. Literally, I've, I've done places where I've done this character, and I found nothing for the first, like, six goes. And we found three within four goes. That's crazy. Uh, but we can light them. Plenty of food. An another macaque? Go away. We could attack it. We've got the rustic spear. Uh... Sure, why not? The macaque charges at you. Let's charge back, and you move into close combat. With arms flying erratically, it tries to land a bite on you. Oh god, we got we got a bruise. Uh, but your rustic spear finds its mark. You pierce its brain. The macaque is dead. Uh, the, the, the macaque hit is likely to leave a lasty bruise. The macaque collapses on the floor. Right. Okay. Um, we've got a macaque. That's that's amazing. I didn't expect to do that this soon. And we've got some cooked goatfish, which is nice now. So, uh, let's get those goatfish out. Let's carve up the macaque meat. We've got 45 bits. That's plenty of time. Uh, the goatfish should still be fine on the fire. And we'll put the macaque meat on the fire. Fish bash bosh. We are done. We've got so much food now. And we got fresh skin. And we can use a stone to kind of peel off the fatty bits of the skin to make a prepared skin. But it's going to take an hour. So it's not, it's not worth doing because the macaque meat will have burnt and gone into charred crisps by that point. So how long do we have left until the macaque meat is finished? 27 minutes, yeah. It takes half an hour to cook and then it takes half an hour to burn. So it would literally be neck and neck, but it would burn by the time we got to it. So let's just eat the goat fish for now. We'll wait till the macaque meat's cooked. It is now cooked. Excellent. Let's just eat all the meat. Just get ourselves fully full. Look at that. We're actually full, full to bursting. Lovely. Let's chuck the fish scraps on the floor. We could eat them, but we can also use them for fish bait, which is quite cool. Let's collect the rain before I forget. We'll have a drink before I forget as well. Uh, just while it's still raining, get as much water as possible. Oh, we've got a seagull. We're getting all the animals today. Uh, screw it. Yeah, let's attack it. The seagull notices you. We charge with it. We move into close combat. It starts flapping its wings and tries to escape. And your rustic spear misses the mark. Shame. We were, we were too lucky with the other stuff. But it only took away the cooked scrap fish that's fine i don't mind about that it's wasted anyway 
Oh, we're very stressed. Uh, that's because of burns. Uh, that because we got we're in pain. It's too dark to do spear fishing because it's late at night. Let's get some fibers. Oh, we've unlocked the skirt. Excellent. And we can research the bone knife now that we've got some bones from the macaque. Let's keep doing some fibers. Make some cords. And I think it's now midnight. We'll extinguish the fire and we will have a nice nap. There we go. Uh, so we've got 10 minutes till we can actually do anything. Uh, we are still quite hungry, so I should eat the fish. And there we go. It's the morning. We can do stuff. We've got a bruise. Uh, that will just heal quickly on its own. I don't think we need to do anything. We could put a bandage on it, I guess. But I don't think it really does anything. So I think we'll just leave it alone. It does cause some pain, which causes us some stress. Uh, we should probably do some entertainment or something to get our stress down a bit, I guess. Right, uh, let's, let's try and raise our spirits a bit by building some sandcastle, going for a dive. That should make us a bit happier. And we've unlocked the bone knife, which we should be able to build straight away. There we go, lovely bone knife. And that's a direct upgrade from the sharpened stone. So now we can use that on the fresh skin. That'll take an hour. And there we go, we've got some fleshed skin. And we just need to leave that for a little while, and it will eventually turn into dried skin, and then we're good. Let's go for some more spear fishing. Another seagull. Come on, retribution for the first one. Come on, let's get it. Get it, get it, get it. Uh, rustic spear hits its mark. You pierce right through it, stopping it in its tracks. The seagull is dead. There we go. And we'll butcher that up. We get some feathers, and we can use feathers for uh, tinder, which is amazing. And we've got bird bones. We'll eat a couple of bananas. Oh, we're not sick of them. Right, three. Lovely. And uh, we can use these bird bones to craft some hooks, which then unlocks the fishing line, which is really, really good. So now uh what should we do we've got uh we've unlocked the fishing lines that's that's uh research that and then we have to wait for a few hours before we can actually do any fishing but we're normal weight our food is fine but i think we should go back to the jungle and get some more bananas while we can because we're still out of food again and we'll go quickly to the wetland to start exploring uh, we've got some sticks and some wood, another large tree. We're getting a bit tired. We might need to watch out. Uh, wood and wood, a heavy stone, uh, one more. Unsafe puddle there, there we go. That's what we wanted. So that means that we can now either dig up mud, which we can use to make bricks or clay, which is really useful for kilns and anything pottery later on. We can also drink this, but it's bacteria ridden puddle. We would probably just get instantly sick or we can wash ourselves. While we're here, let's just dig up some mud. Uh, we've got the weight capacity to take some. So let's just dig up lots of mud. And we will go back, I think, to the bay. And we can process these into bricks and clay. Right, so we're back at the bay. Uh, let's make... Uh, should we make some clay? Let's dig up some sand. So the way you make the bricks is you need... Oh, there's another seagull. Uh, charged it, another one. Yay, successful impact. Excellent. Right, our spear fighting's going up, and we've got some more meat from the seagull. Nice. We'll chuck the sand and the mud on the floor for the time being. Uh, but you need sand or conch shells or feathers, and you can combine that with the mud, and you can make kind of like adobe bricks. So we'll chuck the bones on the floor, and we'll chuck the meat in the fire. We'll get some more sand first, just so we've got enough to go with the mud itself. Oh, we've unlocked the fishing line. Nice. There we go. And what we can now do... Oh, okay. From making one brick, we've unlocked the kiln. Excellent. Let's start researching that then. What we can then do is we can combine the mud piles with the sand, make these mud bricks. We need a lot of these for everything. And there's a macaque. How many animals are there? Just leave me alone. Uh, we could attack it. Yeah, go for it. It charges. It thrusts its arms and lunges forward. Teeth first. Uh, rustic spear. You androidly dart away from the danger, and your rustic spear connects with a solid hit. You seriously damage one of its arms. It's thrashing around, arms flapping, and it attempts to sink its teeth into you. 71% chance with the rustic spear? I like those odds. You manage to evade it in time, and you connect, landing a solid hit. You seriously damage one of its arms. It turns around, trying to escape. 39% uh, chance we hit it again. Oh, we miss. It runs away. Okay. Uh, we can then go after it, or give up. I think we go after it. Oh, we find it dead. Excellent. Right, we've got another one. Oh, we've been so lucky with these macaques already. That's amazing. Uh, okay, more food. The bruise is over halfway healed, so that's good. Let's butcher it while it's still light outside. Boom. Some more flesh skin and some meat. Let's uh, process that while it's still light. And we've got plenty of food to cook up this evening. So let's chuck the meat on and let's light that fire. You can use the feathers as tinder, like I said. <laughs> Seriously, another seagull. Uh, rustic spear. Oh no, we missed. 
Oh, I only took the fish scraps. Good. I was worried it was going to take the macaque meat. Okay, right. It's raining again. Uh, so let's light the tinder again. Uh, birds. All right, all that meat is cooked. Good. Let's eat that quickly. Uh, put that in. Put that in. Eat that. And that's come. <laughs> this is... Uh, we'll extinguish that while we can. And look, there we go. All the meat is now cooked. We are very full. Everything is lovely. Right, we can't fish, unfortunately, because it's too dark outside. Uh, but we could technically fish with the uh, fishing line if we were able to craft it up even at night. So that would be nice. But we can't really do that. So for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to combine the rest of the mud with the sand. We're going to make some clay as well. And that unlocks the clay bowl. Nice. We'll make a couple of them. How many should we make? Three. Three will probably do. We've got five hours till that's done. I think just make the rest into mud bricks. That should be fine. We need plenty of these going forward for the kiln and also mud huts later on, so we're going to need a lot of them. The fire's gone out, and I think we can't really do much more. So I'll just have a drink, and we will have a quick nap. Ooh, another seagull. How many animals are attacking us? Uh, attack it. Come on. Come on. Just get it. Move in. It stops flapping its wings and tries to escape, but you managed to score a hit. Yes. We stopped it in its tracks, and the seagull is dead. Oh, and we unlocked the kiln. Good. Right, so this is where everything starts coming together because a kiln is the first major building that we've got that's like a permanent base, permanent structure. I mean, the shelters are, but they can break. But the kiln won't. It, it's solid. So we don't really want to build that on the bay. And this is where we need to choose where we're going to build up base. I think the jungle is better because it's close to the wetland to get mud. It's also in the center of the island, pretty much. And we've got quick access to the bay anyway. The only issue is that there's loads of bugs there and it's a lot hotter. So we really need a perm structure ASAP after we put the kiln down. So we're going to want to kind of rush to get the mud hut, which once that's built, we are able to protect ourselves from insects and we're able to protect ourselves from the heat. So I think let's try and focus on doing that. Between now and then, we're going to have to probably live on the bay still and work our way up to slowly moving ourselves into the jungle. So the kiln needs 10 mud bricks and some sticks. So I think what we could do is we could just take some of that across to the jungle. Anyway, before we get into anything else, let's just butcher this bird. Uh, we'll put the meat on the fire. We'll eat the macaque meat to fill us up a little bit. And I think let's take the mud bricks that we've made, uh, enough to build the kiln anyway. And that's the first step. There's two steps for it, so we're probably going to need more. Uh, but we'll cancel the one out here. We'll take some sticks. And that's go across into the jungle to build this kiln right here we are so let's put down a blueprint for the kiln boom there we go we can do the first step and the second step is just 10 so we need another eight clay bricks we can nip straight to the wetlands we can grab a bunch of mud here just enough to kind of eke us through should we get nine we can get, actually let's get a bit more but while we're here we might as well just get as much as we can oh and it started to rain now, the puddle will fill up the more it rains, so after a big rain session, it will go back up to 100%. So we're going to want to come back fairly soon so we've got as much mud as possible. Right now, uh, we could drop it on the floor in the jungle. Chuck them on the floor. I think one of the things we're going to want to do is get to a shelter uh, so that we can at least stay here temporarily uh, if we get stuck or we want to do something. So I think making a shelter and a bed would be a good call to do in the jungle. Although we're not planning on staying here like right now, I think it would be good to have just in case we do get stuck for whatever reason. So we'll put the blueprints down ready and we will keep exploring. Oh, our wound's healed. Nice. No more bruises. Uh, and we'll keep exploring until we've... Uh... Oh, another boar. Escape. Yeah, we escaped good. Until we've got enough stuff to make these shelters. Right, so we've got th uh, three... Is that enough? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we just need some cords. And we should have some cord back at the bay. Right, let's fill up all the water we've got. Right, let's have a quick drink. Oh, I thought we had stuff to make cord with. Apparently we don't. Oh, that's a shame. I don't really know what to do. I think that's just eat some food. We'll eat the bananas that we've got. Get ourselves a little bit more satiated. We'll just take that cord that we've got. Go for a quick explore around the bay, just before we head back to the jungle. I've got some more lemongrass, that's good. More more food is always good. And we've got another coconut. Nice. That's some more water storage, which is good. Let's peel it off, then crack it open. Remove the meat for the foods. Nommy nommy num. And I think we should probably take some shells back with us to the jungle, just so we've got some water there for the time being. Uh, we've also got the fibres from the coconut. Oh, and we've unlocked the loom. Oh, cool. Okay, so we need to research that something because that'll enable us to make cloth and clothes and all sorts of stuff going forward so that'll be really really good 
And now we've got that cord, we've got enough to make that little shelter inland. I think we should probably research the loom then. So that enables us to do a few bits. It'll take a day to research, but it's not too big a deal. Uh, oh, we do need a woven palm for the basket, though. Okay, let's do that before anything else, because baskets are very useful. Um, I would like to research the basket first, because it only takes 12 hours. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, let's spend the rest of the day making some palm weave, then. I think we need six. There we go. And while we're waiting, let's do a quick wash for ourselves. Get rid of some of this mud off of ourselves. Uh, we'll do some spear fishing. We got a parrot fish. Nice. Pop that in there. Risk it. Oh, no luck. Shame. Okay, well, it's too dark to do anything now, but we could make a fire, is what I'm going to do very quickly. Uh, feather on a hand drill. Tinder. Campfire. Hmm, what should we do? Actually, that's that's use up the conch. Oh, no, no, we'll keep it. Mm, no, we'll, we'll, we'll use it. We'll use it. Uh, harvest, break into the conch shell, and that gives us conch meat. Quite rubbery and hard to eat. It'll be tasty, but better after hammered and cooked. So that's hammer that up for three minutes, and that gives us something. Uh, we've got 24 minutes till that's done. Uh, that's us make some needles, I guess. Maybe another hook. It's too dark. Why is it too dark? <gasps> I ran out of fuel. No, 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 no. Oh, balls. Uh, do we have anything to actually put on it? We'll have to put leaves on it. Oh, that's annoying. Wasted a feather. I should have looked at that before even starting it. Shame. Oh, well. Okay, another 24 minutes now. That's not too big a deal. And let's make another needle. Let's eat the lemongrass. Let's eat that. Cook that. Eat that. Tuck that on the floor. Eat the lemongrass. Conk shell is done. Extinguish the fire. Eat that. Right. We're pretty full. And I think we have a quick drink. Tasty tastiness. I think we're going to take some stones with us. Um, and what else should we take with us when we go to the other place? We could take some sand, actually. Can we dig up some sand while it's still... Yeah, we can gather sand. Good. I thought you could. And let's have a quick nap. We discovered the basket. Let's build that. Two hours. Boom, we've unlocked the basket. And we've unlocked the sheds doing that. Excellent. And we've got the woven basket. This is great. Unlocked everything. Ready for the start of day five. So I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I think that's a that's a pretty good place to end it. Next episode, we're going to get the basket. We're going to make a rope to then attach the basket on our backs. So we've got a makeshift backpack. We are going to start our journey into making a long lasting base within the jungle itself. Uh, so we've got quick access to the wetlands, we get more bricks, and we're kind of in the middle of everything in the jungle, which is nice. Uh, we're going to try and just get a permanent structure set up. Uh, we need to get long term, this is a way off, but we need to get the water reservoir. To get the water reservoir, we need to make clay vases, which we need the kiln for. So once we've got some water reservoirs, really we need two of those, and then we'll be able to last throughout the dry season, hopefully. Um, preferably three if we can, but two should be enough, especially if we then have plenty of vases and things which can also hold water a lot better than coconut shells. Once we've set up the water reservoirs, we can then do a bit more exploring, uh, maybe look at potentially starting farming if we get our herb lore up, and uh, yeah, we can go from there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like Wisim, please leave a like and subscribe, and massive thanks to all my Patreons. Drew, David, Clint, David, Mikhail, Deblog, Len, MVH Nexus, Lorby Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Likey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Jonathan Crane, Skylar Burstrel, Charles, Mint Salad, and Lats. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just incredible. Uh, but thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye bye.